Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tara and here on my channel, I teach you guys how to make homemade skincare products. So it has been highly requested by you guys for me to formulate using alpha hydroxy acids. And I personally am obsessed with alpha hydroxy acids. So I'm super excited to share those types of recipes with you guys. But first, I think it's really important for me to do this video today, which is just me explaining to you guys what alpha hydroxy acids are and just some important things to note when formulating or when using an alpha hydroxy acid. There are certain ingredients that are used in cosmetics that could actually be damaging if used the wrong way or damaging if used at too high of a percentage. So it's really important for you to do your research on basically any ingredient that you use before formulating with it or putting it on your skin. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm I'm going to be telling you guys what I know about alpha hydroxy acid and tips I have when starting to use alpha hydroxy acids and just a little just a little bit about actually formulating with them but I'll talk about the whole formulating part a little bit more in my next video so I've noticed alpha hydroxy acids they're everywhere today. People are always talking about them. They're in tons of different products and it's definitely a growing trend. So most of you guys probably already know what they are, but if you don't, that's completely cool because I am going to explain alpha hydroxy acids to you. So there's two specific alpha hydroxy acids that I want to talk about because they're the most popular and that's glycolic acid and lactic acid. There is another one out there that I personally really like and it's by Formula Tour Sample Shop. I believe other suppliers sell it as well, but I have Formula Tour Sample Shops and it's called fruit acid complex and this is a combination of extracts from different types of fruits and they work together to work as an alpha hydroxy acid so that's another way you can get alpha hydroxy acids is through products like that but yeah so lactic acid and glycolic acid is specifically what I'm going to be talking about today so alpha hydroxy acids basically in short they help slough off dead skin cells to elaborate a little bit more on that um I'll read my little explanation of them on my blog that I've written. Um, they act as an exfoliant on the uppermost layers of the skin, helping to loosen the bonds between dead surface layers and the radiant skin beneath. So basically, they help shed off all the old dead skin cells to reveal softer, brighter, and more youthful skin that's hidden underneath. So when we're younger, our skin actually sheds dead skin cells more naturally, but as we age and our skin becomes damaged, it doesn't shed dead skin cells as much as it did when we were younger. So that's when alpha hydroxy acids come in. And that is why they're so popular in the anti-aging community. So since they're shedding all those dead skin cells, it will actually help diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles. It improves skin's firmness and texture, unclogs pores, and it can even fight acne. Um, typically, alpha hydroxy acids are used for people with normal to dry skin types. Obviously, they help people with acne as well. But typically with people who have oily acne prone skin, they seem to be drawn towards more of the BHAs, which are beta hydroxy acids. And I don't really know too much about beta hydroxy acids, I've never worked with them. But a really popular example of beta hydroxy acids is salicylic acid. I see this ingredient everywhere. I've never worked with it personally. Like I said, I've read that BHAs are better for people with oily acne prone skin. And it's great for treating blackheads, whiteheads, and they can get through the oils that clog your pores to help normalize the lining of pores that is causing acne. Alpha hydroxy acids are better for people with sensitive, dry, and mature skin. And then beta hydroxy acids are better for people with oily acne prone skin. But like I said, people with oily acne prone skin can still benefit from alpha hydroxy acids as well. But if you're looking for that ultra, you know, acne fighting benefits, beta hydroxy acids is probably more where you're going to get those benefits. But you will still benefit from alpha hydroxy acids as well if you have acne. So let's move on and let's talk more about the alpha hydroxy acids, specifically glycolic acid and lactic acid, and what the difference is between the two. So glycolic acid has a smaller molecular size. That means it can penetrate deeper into the skin and it can help encourage new collagen formation and it helps reduce wrinkles and plump up the skin and glycolic acid is said to be better for more sun damaged skin. Lactic acid has a larger molecular size so it doesn't penetrate so deep into your skin like glycolic acid does. It is far more moisturizing than glycolic acid and it's also more gentle and less irritating than glycolic acid. So lactic acid seems to be better for people with dry sensitive skin. Just a little information about myself, I say this all the time in all my videos, I have really dry sensitive skin and I I really like lactic acid. Even though glycolic acid may sound better because it has a smaller molecular size, which means it can like penetrate better, that's not always a good thing for people with sensitive skin. So my skin really likes lactic acid, but when I use glycolic acid, it just 
just burns too much. Uh, let me know if you prefer glycolic acid or lactic acid down in the comments below. So if you are new to alpha hydroxy acids, it's always best to start with a smaller percentage. And especially if you have sensitive skin, it's best to start with lactic acid. So if you have sensitive skin, you just started with alpha hydroxy acids, I recommend using about 5% lactic acid or maybe even lower than that. I started with 5% lactic acid and I was fine. So I think that's a good starting point. If you don't have sensitive skin, you could definitely start with glycolic acid and maybe use that at about 5% or lower. But if you really have sensitive skin, I recommend lactic acid before going into glycolic acid. You want to start with about 5% lactic acid at first, get your skin used to it for maybe a couple weeks, just until you feel ready. I think it's really easy to kind of tell how your skin is reacting to things. So as soon as you think your skin feels comfortable with bumping up the percentage, you can bump up from 5% lactic acid to maybe like seven or maybe eight, or maybe if you want, switch over to a 5% glycolic acid. If you don't have really sensitive skin, like I said, you can start with 5% glycolic acid and then maybe bump up to like an eight or a seven. You just really want to take a baby steps and really get your skin used to it before jumping into those high percentages. So if you are new to alpha hydroxy acids, even if you don't have sensitive skin, I highly, highly recommend not to just jump into like 10% glycolic acid. You could really do damage to your skin if you just jump right into a high percentage and your skin isn't ready for it. Definitely start with the lower percentages and work your way up. Another important thing is when you're using alpha hydroxy acids on your skin, you want to wear a sunscreen for up to seven days after use. So it is really important to make sure you're protecting your skin when using alpha hydroxy acids because you're literally shedding off your top layer of your skin and revealing that sensitive skin underneath that is more beautiful and youthful and glowing, but it's new skin. So you don't want to damage it by the sun. So make sure you're wearing sunscreen when using alpha hydroxy acids for up to seven days after use. So when you first start using alpha hydroxy acids, like I said, you want to start with a small percentage. And I think it's best to use it just one time a day, preferably in the evening, until your skin gets used to it. Obviously, if you're not having any bad reactions, feel free to use it in the mornings as well. But if you are like noticing sensitivity using it once a day, maybe break it down to like every other day or every two to three times a week. Personally, I use mine about maybe two to three times a week. I don't use it every single day. I just like to use it every once in a while. And sometimes I'll take like a month break from it. I kind of just use it whenever my skin is acting up and it's just, you know, it just needs a little bit extra work. So it's really up to you how you decide to do it and obviously how your skin reacts. I'll say it one more time. It's important to start with a small percentage at first and easing into it. So just keep that in mind. So the last thing I want to talk about just briefly is formulating with alpha hydroxy acids. And I'm not going to go into too much detail. We'll talk more about formulating in my next video. I just want to mention to you guys that formulating with alpha hydroxy acids isn't as simple as just adding it into some water or some hydrosol or aloe vera juice. You first need to make sure you're using the correct percentage. So if you want to use 5% lactic acid, do the math to figure out what 5% lactic acid would be in your formulation. Add that in. And you want to add it in before you add in your preservative because what's going to happen when you add in that lactic acid or glycolic acid into your water or hydrosol or aloe vera juice, the pH level is going to drop dramatically. It'll drop down to like two or three, maybe even sometimes a one. So that is a very acidic product. So what you have to do after that is bring the pH back up. And I do have a video all about how to balance pH levels and I talk about how to raise a pH level. So if you don't know how to raise the pH level in a cosmetic, go watch that video. I'll link it down below. So you need to raise that pH level of your product back up to around 3.5 to four. Like I said, it's not just so simple as adding it in, bam, put it on my skin. You can cause damage doing it that way. Make sure you're balancing the pH afterwards. If you aren't really comfortable with balancing pH levels in cosmetics, because I do know it can be kind of confusing, and maybe you don't have a pH meter, because it, you have to have a good pH meter when formulating alpha hydroxy acids, you could use that um, fruit acid complex that I talked about in the beginning of this video. You can literally just add the fruit acid complex into some hydrosols or water or aloe vera juice, and you won't have to balance the pH. I believe when using that, the pH comes out to be around four, so it's definitely more of an acidic product and it's a nice happy pH for your alpha hydroxy acids and it's formulated that way to where you don't have to balance the pH. So if you don't have a pH meter and you still want to make something with alpha hydroxy acids, that uh, fruit acid complex from Formula Tour Sample Shop is definitely a good thing to use and I will make a video on how to formulate using that along with how to formulate with lactic acid and those are my two next videos coming up next 
and they're just gonna be really simple recipes that don't involve anything dramatic basically just water and alpha hydroxy acid and a preservative so they're gonna be really simple uh, formulations but maybe after that I'll do some more complex alpha hydroxy acid formulations so I do hope you guys learned a little bit more about alpha hydroxy acids and now know the warnings when using one because like I said you can do damage if you use too much or too high of a percentage so make sure you're really using caution when formulating an alpha hydroxy acid product or when using one. All right, so now that I have reached the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shout outs. First off, I just wanna say thank you to everybody over on my Patreon. All your guys' support means so much to me. If you didn't know, over on my Patreon, you can get early access to videos, you can have access to my blog. So every video I do over here on my YouTube channel involving skincare products will actually have a blog post that goes right along with it over on my Patreon so you can like actually physically print out the recipes. Um, I also have a option on my Patreon where you can actually get a shout out at the end of each of my videos and have a link to whatever website you want in my description box. And I have four lovely people to shout out. First off is Herbalist Tracy who owns Essence of Nature and I've done a review on her products in the past. The next person is Musical Mood Ring who owns Stardust Bath and Body. As of right now her website is not live but you can go over to her website and put in your email and get notified when it goes live or you can go follow her on Instagram at Stardust Bath and Body. Next up is is Nature's Farm Girl who owns naturesfarmgirl.com. She makes and sells all kinds of natural body and skincare products. So go check out her website. And last but not least is a new shout out, Kennedy's Essentials. And the website is kennedysessential.net. They sell all kinds of different hair care products and the website's really cute. I love the colors that they've got going on on that website. So go check out Kennedy's Essentials. All the links to all my lovely patrons will be down in the description box. So go check them out, show them some love. So uh, that is everything I have for this video today. Let me know how you feel about alpha hydroxy acids. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you prefer glycolic or lactic acid or maybe like some other kind of alpha hydroxy acid because there are other ones out there. It's just the two most popular ones is glycolic and lactic acid. Also, like I said, in my next video I'll be formulating with lactic acid. So look forward to that video. So I hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm shattered in this life. It's still the path that I've chosen. Because I've had a vision, now I'm on a mission to find myself with me.